Set in a key in the inspector with the old input system was really quite easy to do. You just create an instance of the key code and then use that key code in get key, get key down, or get key up. But what if you're using the new input system? Well, did you know you can assign a value in the input action reference? I didn't. And until a few days ago, I didn't need that functionality. But for things like menus or buttons or other objects that might make use of a hotkey, this is particularly useful. And it turns out it's just about as easy to do with the new input system as it was with the old input system. A few days back, I was working on some UI functionality and wanted to add hotkeys to allow the player to open menus. Normal stuff. But all the menus I was working with were the same type, meaning they were using the same component, just with different data and different children objects. This meant I couldn't easily program different keys to trigger different menus without making an ugly mess. Now, you can add an input action to your inspector, but this creates or defines a new input action, which isn't quite what I wanted to do. I wanted to use an input action that I've already created in an input action asset. And this sparked a memory from my local multiplayer video, where a component made by Unity did allow the selection of input actions in the inspector. So I went digging into that old project to see what I could find. It turns out that Unity has an input action reference class that's built into the new input system, and it's about as simple as it sounds. All you need to do is create an instance in your class, and then in the inspector, you'll be able to select any of the input actions that you've already created. Once you've done that, and assuming that you're using the C-sharp generated class, you can subscribe functions to the various events for the input action, just like normal. And also, just like normal, don't forget to enable the input action. It's hard for me to imagine how it could be much simpler to implement this with the new input system. It's almost as easy as the old input system with the key code. That said, I'm not sure how this will work with key rebinding. So if you're allowing your players to rebind or change which keys trigger which actions, definitely do some testing before you implement this too widely in your project. Beyond that, I think this is a great tool that easily adds extra functionality to my project and to your project. So at the end of the day, I hope that was interesting and better yet, useful for you and your project.